Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to approach something brand new. Now that we've understood how to calculate impedances and we understood how to draw phasor diagrams, we can now use this information to come up with what we call a phase shifting circuit. And here's an example of a simple phase shifting circuit. What we are saying here is that the phase of the output voltage will be different from the phase of the input voltage because we have a resistor and a capacitor in the circuit. And the voltage across the resistor will have a different phase on the voltage across the capacitor. Matter of fact, they are 90 degrees apart from one another. And the reason for that is that the resistance is a, has a 90 degree difference with the reactive capacitance. Notice that when we have both the resistor and the capacitor in the circuit, together they will have an impedance, and the impedance is equal to the square root of R squared plus the capacitor reactance squared. And the phase angle between the impedance and the resistance will be equal to theta, where theta is equal to the inverse tangent of the, reactive, of the capacitive reactance divided by the resistance. Now that phase angle is important, because you'll see in just a moment how that's applied to the phase shifting circuit. Now how do we find the phase difference between the output voltage and the input voltage? Well we can do that by looking at the phase diagram like this. Instead of drawing the re resistance and the reactance and the impedance on the circuit, instead we've drawn the voltages across the resistor, the voltage across the capacitor, and then the voltage of the source. Now notice there is a similarity between the two. The voltage across the resistor is pointing in this direction. Now, to make it a more general case, I've rotated around by the amount of omega t. Now, omega t could be zero, and then the v sub r would be pointing in this direction, and the v sub c would be pointing in this direction. But I wanted to show that there's a more general case here where we've rotated the phasor diagram by omega t. Notice that the voltage across the resistor is the current in the circuit times the resistance. Just like the voltage across the capacitor is equal to the current in the circuit times the capacitive reactance. But since the resistance and the capacitive reactance are 90 degrees out of phase, the voltage across the resistor and the voltage across the capacitor will occur at a phase difference of 90 degrees as well. Notice that here we have the angle or the direction of the voltage across the entire circuit. V sub z is equal to the current times the impedance. And the phase angle between V sub z and V sub r is exactly the same as the phase angle between the resistance and the impedance. That's the same theta. Now notice that V sub z also is equal to the voltage across the source, which means that V sub r, which is the same as the output voltage, has a phase difference with V sub z, which is the source voltage. And that phase difference is the same as the phase difference theta, which is equal to the inverse tangent of X sub c over R. You can see it's the same angle. Which means that in this case, the way the circuit is drawn, the voltage across the resistor leads the, vo the source voltage by the angle theta. And that's what you can see here, that the voltage across the resistor leads the voltage across the source by the angle theta, which means by varying the frequency, varying the capacitance, or varying the resistance, we can change the phase difference between the output voltage and the input voltage. And that's why this is called a phase shifting circuit. Now also notice that depending upon the values, the output voltage may be quite a bit smaller than the input voltage because of the phase difference, you're going to lose some magnitude. And again, we'll show you some examples of how to remedy that. Finally, if you want to draw a diagram where on the horizontal axis we have time and on the vertical axis we have voltage, notice that the black line here represents the voltage across the source and the red line here represents the voltage across the output or the voltage across the resistance. And notice there's a phase difference between the two. You see that the voltage across the resistor, which is the output voltage, happens before the voltage across the source. The phase difference here is the angle theta, which can be calculated again by this ratio, the, arc, the inverse tangent of that ratio. So hopefully this makes you understand how we can draw, how this is a phase shifting circuit how the voltage on the output, which is the same as the voltage across the resistor, is different from the voltage across the input, the input voltage, which has the same phase angle or phase direction as the voltage 
of the entire circuit V sub Z. And so that's a good start, and then we'll show you some another type of uh, what we call phase shifting circuit, and then we'll show you some examples of actually use that. And that's how it's done.